Hi, I'm Bob Wickham, and this is a tune lesson for the intermediate and advanced students at the Off the Hook Chamber Music uh, Festival Camp, the summer camp. I am going to teach you guys Fisher's Hornpipe. Uh, this lesson will cover the melody, and a separate lesson will cover a harmony to it. Um, here we go. I'm going to play it for you once, and then I'll slow it down for you. So this is Fisher's Hornpipe. It's in the key of D. It's one of the oldest fiddle tunes that was ever written down in sheet music. It's from the 1700s and uh, is an English fiddle tune. Um, so we start on the A string. So it's in the key of D. So. That's a little D arpeggio. So a scale up to D. Arpeggio down, then G. Then D. So two, oh, two, oh, to G. Three, one, oh, three. Two, oh, two, oh. Notice we have a lot of and then we repeat that arpeggio then we have the final ending of the A part So a little scale up there. So it's a hornpipe, and hornpipes often end with a... That's a common hornpipe phrase ending. play a fourth finger there, which keeps you on the same string. That's probably the better fingering to do, but I don't care if you want to play the open string there. It's just fine with me. So then we're on to the B part. So two, And a little arpeggio passage there. Then the same passage up a step. I like that. That very. 
variation. Back to the first phrase. Then we're walking down with a different ending. And then we've got that same basic uh, note pattern. one time through the B part, then we repeat it. Now, I like to add a triplet here the second time through with triplet. But you can still do it. That's the easier way, but we want to all be together when we do this. So I think the first time we just do... Then the second time we do, then we're back. And then the second time we'll add a triplet to this too. Alright, so we'll play it through one more time together at a medium pace. And then you can play this as many times as you want because that's the beauty of video! Fisher's Hornpipe. See you guys next month.